Oh, hi everyone. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Ahmad Mukhlis. When we're talking or discussing about Palestine issue or Gaza issue, we must know that it is not a new news to us. It has been for a long time ago. This news or issue about Palestine and also Gaza, Syria and other than that is such a reflection to us, the Muslim community around the globe. We must ask ourselves what we can do. As Islamic countries around the world, we must cooperate and also unite each other to form a very huge organization to, in order to help them. Because at the end of the day, Allah will, look, Allah will not look at the result but our effort to help them because we are responsible and we be asked on what we have done to help them. Thus, we must put a very best effort in order to help them. And the most important thing, don't forget about the power of dua. Because dua is the weapon of us as the believers. Thank you. Everyone, the attack against Palestine is not new. More than seven decades, the Palestinians struggle with bombings and shotguns strike towards them. These need to be our concern because they are our Muslims' brothers and sisters. Muslims protect each other. Even with the bombs rained down, the people of Gaza are never given up hope, and neither can we. Hi, my name is Mohamed Amir Rizain, and I have a solution where we can help our brothers in Palestine. My solution is, we as students, we can help by joining or participating in any groups, forms of volunteerism in Malaysia, such as My Care or Aman Palestine, which they could help the Palestinians build their own houses far away from the war zones, which they can live in safe and comfortable environments without worrying any bombs that could drop at their head at any time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Adam bin Abdul Ghaffar and another thing that we can do to help our brothers and sisters out there is by donating some clothing. Due to the wars and conflicts that are happening out there, houses and buildings are bombarded and burnt, resulting to massive destruction. This will cause the essential needs of a person to be gone just like that. And this includes clothing. So this is why we must help by donating some clothing for the sake of their comfort and warmth to help our brothers and sisters out there to overcome the cold of the nights they're sleeping in. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So brother and sister, so we are Muslims. So our responsibility as Muslims is that we have to prioritize other Muslims. So we can see the people in Palestine, our brothers and sisters in Palestine, they are suffering. They don't actually have food to eat. I watch a YouTube on how some of the Palestinian people, even a child, they only eat grass. So can we imagine how suffering they are? So we, as a Muslim, we are living in a country where the economy is very stable. So we can actually hand, give a hand by donate some food to the Palestinian, so we can actually donate um, any type of food. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of food it is, because Palestine, they don't actually prioritize any food. They, they are not like us. Like we, if we want something, we want that food. But in Palestine, even if we just give a tiny little bread, they would actually accept it. Why? Because they eat just to save their life not to actually fulfill their desire. So that is why we as a Muslims, it is our task and our responsibility to ensure that we can actually share our food, we can share our wealth with our brother and sister in the Palestine. Thank you. Spread this video to everyone. We must be conscious about what happened around the globe, especially to Muslims. We must stand up and fight the violence and terror. Use social media to raise awareness and go tweet and hashtag save Gaza. Be an Insta famous who is famous on Instagram because you stand for Islam.